What's up YouTube, Francis here today and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about consistency and work, okay? I'm actually reacting to a video um, some of us actually did on the YouTube channel, okay? About why you can't do the work, okay? I'm going to be linking that video in the description if you haven't checked that out. If you're brand new to this YouTube channel, my name is Francis Abogonye. I make entrepreneurship videos, make money online methods, I share my journey as well as my experiences right here on this YouTube channel. So if you like videos such as this, I invite you to hit the red subscribe button, take the bell notification icon, that way you get notified whenever I come up with new videos such as this one. And if you've been watching my videos for quite some time on YouTube and you haven't subscribed, I wonder what you're waiting for. Come on, hit the red subscribe button. It is actually free. It doesn't hurt when you hit the subscribe, okay? I appreciate it a lot because that, by subscribing to my channel and by hitting the thumbs up and also dropping a comment, you're supporting this YouTube channel. So if you like what I'm doing, you can throw out the support by doing one of these things okay maybe you subscribe and hit the thumbs up if you enjoy it okay so with that being said let's dive right in also i'm going to be leaving some cool links in the description like um some valuable stuff that will be resourceful for you guys especially those of you who are into um internet marketing okay so you can check the links out in the description of this video okay so last late last night i was watching a video on youtube okay where sam ovens was actually talking about why you can't do the work and people asking him questions about that some of those questions are questions i get a lot also especially those that reach out to me that ask me questions about how can they start a business on the internet or how they, can they start their own online business okay i get that a lot and one of my recommendations or one of, one of the things i mostly talk about is finding a niche that plays a huge role on what you're going to be doing online which what I recommend for long term because if you're looking at long term goals, okay, I recommend you start out with something you love so much or something you're passionate about, okay. I mostly tell a lot of people, even in my affiliate marketing ebook, which I'm also going to be linking in the resources page in the description of this video, I talked about that also where I said you should go for something you're passionate about, okay, because by so doing you can stay long term with this, okay, with with your business or you can stay long term with it. Now, in the video Sam Owens was talking, in the, the video Sam did, he was actually talking about um, where people were saying they can't stay focused on a particular tax when they started, when they start working, okay? Maybe they get distracted easily, maybe they want to switch over to social media or they want to um, maybe um, watch Netflix and get distracted one way or the other. Now, this tends to happen a lot when um, people don't love what they do, okay? He actually mentioned it that first you have to love what you do. By so doing, by loving what you do, you'll be passionate about it and you, you want to stick with it, okay? It's something you love. You, you do it anyway, even without money, right? So if you build a business model around what you love, it will be easy for you to stay consistent with it, okay? In my case, I love entrepreneurship a lot. You can see I'm putting on an entrepreneur shirt, okay? I love entrepreneurship a lot. I love the whole idea revolving around building a business and also scaling and growing it also and working on my mindset also. I love the idea around it. Even if you're not going to be paying me money, this is stuff that I do on a regular basis. Around my peers, around, among my friends, I talk about these things every single time that I, I can sit with my friends and talk about business all day long, okay? I enjoy talking about businesses. I enjoy talking about entrepreneurship. I enjoy talking about growth, okay? So I can do this all day, okay? Even if I'm not earning from it, even if, um, um, even if I'm not on YouTube, I'll still be doing this anyway, okay? So I... What I recommend is you go for something you already know about, okay? Something you have love for, something you're passionate about, okay? By so doing, you can easily get started. Like in Sam's video, he made mention of his friend who is a lawyer who, who, love, who likes golf, okay? He likes golf and he was thinking that he can't actually start golf because it's of age. It's maybe age I've caught up with him and uh, he can't actually start to be a professional golf player. But the thing is, he must not become a golf player, which he can actually um, fit into the golf industry one way or the other, okay? Maybe he can be a sport journalist or... A, there's, there's, there's room for everybody, okay? All you have to do is to spot where the problems is in a particular industry and see how you can provide solutions to those problems, okay? And by so doing, you're building a business. And by building a business that you stay consistent with, you are going to grow the business and you're going to be making money from that business, okay? That is what this is all about okay so i mostly get this question on my youtube channel where people mostly tell me um francis what business should i go into or what should i promote or what should i sell online okay first of all if you're looking at something long term you have to think long term as well 
okay and by thinking long term you must consider the fact that you want to build um you, you have to do something that you already love or something you already have knowledge about okay if you know a particular topic very much okay it will be easy for you to get started with it okay you don't need um, to start doing lots of research or start learning about it a particular skill that you have to learn to start earning from okay you can use what you already know okay to start up a business okay for long-term growth all right so that is what this video revolves around now a lot of people don't stay consistent it's because of this same problem because they don't like what they're actually doing that's why they are not consistent because the thing is if you love what you're doing okay you are going to be consistent whether um, whether whether um, you want to do it at that moment or you don't want to do it like for me I love making videos even before now I am a video guy I mostly make videos okay because we have a media team I work with and we mostly make videos okay I will make branding stuff also so if you love what you're doing okay and you build a business around it it will be easy for you to stay consistent with it okay consistency is key for any business like I myself, sometimes I struggle to make videos on YouTube, not per se that I'm trying to make videos on YouTube. Maybe I'm being distracted by other things in my other businesses, okay, that, needed my, that needs my attention, okay. I mostly get distracted by those businesses also, that mostly take my time. And while, I am, while I'm out of, from YouTube, I am mostly working on my other businesses also, okay. And I must stay consistent with them as well, okay. We must, I must grow them, I must um, invest time into them so they can grow also, okay. So the reason why I want to just put this out is mostly because I know a lot of you guys are having this same issue when it comes to consistency and growing your business, okay. You, you, um, I see a lot of folks, they, they get started with a particular thing online and after a while they get fed up and they quit, okay. This is because they are not consistent or this is because they don't love that thing they are doing because if you can love what you're doing, I don't see why you will not be doing it, okay. And most of the times, the big problem is because a lot of folks or most people don't actually really know themselves, right? Because if you understand yourself, if you study yourself or if you know yourself very well, it will be easy for you to know, okay, this is what I like, this is what I don't like. No matter how I do these things, this other thing, I don't like it. But if you give me this um, particular thing, let's say you're, you, you love pets a lot, you love taking care of um, pets, let's say dogs, right? Let's say you love taking care of dogs, okay? And if somebody say, okay, that you should become a farmer or you should be taking care of a farm, and you don't like taking care of a farm, there's no way you you, you stay consistent with a particular farm business, okay? Maybe, let's say you start, with a, you start a farm business, you start doing agriculture. There's no way you're going to be consistent with an agricultural business, okay? But if, in any case, if but if um, you're, you start a pet business, let's say you love taking care of dogs, okay? And that is what you love, and you start that business, it will be easy for you to stay consistent with that business model, okay? You're not going to be deviating from it. And you're not going to be like, um, like the example Sam gave that some people will be like, uh, they'll, they'll be working on their business and the next thing they are being distracted. They, they start opening social media or they start um, watching Netflix or going offline, should I say, out of track from what they are supposed to be doing on their business. Okay, now if this falls within your category, if this resonates with you, if you also find issues in terms of being focused and being consistent with what you do, let me know that in the comment section. You must not say I'm not consistent. You can just maybe say a thing or two about consistency or how you are managing to deal with consistency and procrastination and all those stuff that we entrepreneurs mostly face on a regular basis. It's more of like a norm or it's something that we mostly see out there. It's more of like something we experience even if you don't experience it you will see somebody close to you that experiences um or that has that deficiency or is suffering from that okay which um is something to cure okay which i recommend what i recommend or the essence of me making this video what i recommend you do to deal with that is do what you really really love or do what resonates with you okay start out with something you're passionate about something you are knowledgeable about something you know okay by so doing you'll be able to stick with that thing you know okay and you you, you it will be very difficult for you to get distracted because you love it okay you love doing it and you're going to be doing it anyway even if even if they're not going to be paying you any money from it even if you're not going to be making money from the business you're going to be doing it anyway so you can start with that 
find the pain point of the industry you know you love so much okay find the pain point okay and see how you can provide solutions to those pains or those problems in that industry by so doing you're building a business around it okay now if you find any value in this i i think you should let me know that in the comment section if you find any value give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it and if you don't know who sam ovens is you can check out his youtube channel i'm going to link that in the description of this video i'm not affiliated to him in any way He's the owner of consulting.com and he's a very, very cool guy. Okay, I love him a lot. I learned a lot of stuff from Sam. That is why I'm making this video and I recommend him maybe you check Sam out also, okay? And if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, make sure you do so because I mostly put out content such as this one and other valuable content like make money online, methods. I share my experiences and I mostly talk about entrepreneurship and growth um, tips also on this YouTube channel. So I'm inviting you to hit the red subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Take the bell notification icon so that you'll be notified whenever I come up with new videos. And until next time, I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye-bye for now. Hello guys, Francis here today and we're going to be making a YouTube video.